Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe and this is Transport Fever to EPEC. Very hard. We're going to come up with a better name eventually, or probably not. But today we're going to expand on what we already have, hopefully get to the third city, add more products, cargo to the cities that we already have, and make this even bigger than what it is right now. Personally, I don't give the trucks enough love, but the diesel trucks, the later later trucks, especially the bigger ones, I quite like them a lot. So I'm kind of happy that we got at least one intro out of them, and we're going to see how that goes. But today, um, at this stage, Strout has already increased the demand for Conmats, which is awesome, and increased the demand for machines. So both of those we can increase now, which means more profit, which is great. We have trains... For several of those items already running, we just have to make sure that we can actually produce enough. Now, let's check on this guy. You're producing just 118. Okay, got it. Um, how do we get more? You're only moving 118. You know what that means? And I know I don't talk about these numbers that much, but I'm going to try to be a little more detailed today. That means that this... Uh, well, truck station at this point is not capturing every single building that cares about... Um, that cares about machines. And let's see here, what do we have going on? So the truck station right there is probably covering all of these. Everything that's a little yellow, we are delivering to them, but there are a couple buildings out here that are most likely not in catchment radius. Here, there you go. These buildings are not it. Now, there's a chance if we move this one over to this street that we actually increase that catchment radius enough to make that work, but I would really like to stay out of the... I'm out of the bus route because your trucks are going to park and your buses are going to park to uh, let people on and off. And, well, they're going to create traffic and we don't want traffic. So let's see first if we can make a, a cheeky play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to get everything. Perfect. Uh, we can make a cheeky play right here that will include all of the available machines. Um, I think it's even reaching all the way down here. Yeah, there, there's a slight white line. Look, like, there's a white line right there, okay? Um, if I put this guy over here, there is a lightly gray line, but there's still a line, which means it's still connected. For cargo, this is enough. For passengers, they may say, you know what? This is too far away, so I don't want to go there. But that is fine. Um, let's pause really quick so we get the time. B for delete. Click on that guy. We don't have... Oh, we have a little bit of money. Very good. Um, and then we're just going to replace that stop that's sitting right here right now. We have that little bit of time to actually move it over here. Now you're actually in catchment radius of every machine's building that exists. Very good. <clears throat> that's the first part. The second part is check what our line is doing. Our rate is only 117. Our rate needs to be uh, 147. So let's match those up. Uh, manage vehicle. Yes, please. Copy that one. And then our line looks like 133. Not enough. Cool. Great. Uh, let's add another, uh, another truck here because why not? 160 rate is perfect for what we're doing right here. So that looks fine. And our city is growing uh, nicely. So 148. Can we produce 148? Let's check. What are our suppliers doing? We're getting 200 steel delivered uh, to here, which is excellent. 180 wood. Okay, 180 wood is more than enough to produce the 150 machine parts that we have right now for quite some more time. And as you can see, this train is actually full. That is the 180 that we are moving. All right, let's look at our, our rate. Um, that's the wrong one. Look at the line, not the rate. Our rate is 375. Okay, it's almost 400. It's not quite. The frequency is six minutes. <sighs> We're going to bring this up. Four minutes is the good time frame that you want to be in. If you're within four minutes, that is exactly the same as the time frame that uh, the game uses to calculate all of their stuff. That is the demand for this. That is in about a four minute time frame. Um, the production for all the industries, that's about a four minute time frame. So at six minutes, we don't always hit that. How do you increase it? You need another train. Um, ideally, I don't want another train. I would just like to make this train a little longer so you can move at least 200 pieces at the same time uh, because that is this production that we're seeing here. Again, uh, we are getting 180 units per time frame, which is almost fine, but let's just add one more, one more run, and then our rate is also going to increase. Okay, manage vehicle. Um, edit. 
Find the correct cargo type or cargo wagon. I think it looks like this one. We got 187 meters. We can go up to 240, so this should be fine. And I'm hoping that one wagon will give us that extra that extra bump to over 400, which it did. Cool. We don't have to add another train right now. But once we add one of the other uh, forests in here, and we could potentially even put a station here that this forest gets included on the way, which is not as effective. Sorry. It's not as profitable as uh, bringing something into to the station. Uh, but we're going to see how that goes. All right. How are you doing? Yeah, you're doing that 180 that we, that we just talked about because of the frequency, and that should be fine. You are doing the 200 that we're already moving, so all of this is good enough. We don't have to increase this one yet because we have the 200 units of steel. Uh, we don't need any more than that because we are only needing 150. Great. Here's our combat supply currently. Um, we're delivering 31 out of 47. That's nice. Let's look at our line. What is your delivery? 8 minutes, 28. So it's about 14 every 4 minutes. And it kind of meshes in there somehow. At the very least, we need to add one extra vehicle to make this work. Not enough money. That's fine. We have a little bit of money in the bank. I hope at the end of this episode we have more than enough money uh, to make all the things work that I would like to work. Uh, but it's very possible that that may not happen. Okay, so... Uh, all right, it's now 55, which will take care of this city, no problem, 100%. Great, we also have more cars now, and here's the here's the kicker, here's the important one. Um, this construction material plant has construction materials that West Bedlington could also use. Now, we did move our cargo station. Now, the cargo station is actually out of range of the bus station that we have over here. So we have to make a decision. Sorry, not bus station. This is a train station. Uh, so we have to make a decision. Do we want to deliver a different, um, well, a different round of cargo here with a different line? Because you shouldn't share drop-off zones with the same line because that usually means you run empty more than you should. That's not good. So no, I don't think I don't think we need to we need to deliver here. Also, a train would get really expensive right there. Plus, it's a state car that we don't currently have access to on this track, on this uh, on this rail track. Uh, how many comments do we actually need here? Just 25. So a train route for that would not be worth it regardless. But what we do need is more construction materials. And here's how we're going to do that. I will adjust a couple things. The first thing we're going to adjust is we built a new line. That new line is going to be just responsible for bringing everything that we can down here uh, to Stroud South. This is just to deliver uh, the rocks and nothing else, uh, nothing else. Full load, make sure that you do exactly what I want you to do. I want you to load rocks, uh, well, no, load rocks here, and then unload at Stroud South um, the other stuff. Okay, oh, oh, I, I'm seeing a thing that we can do here, which uh, should actually be really good. Uh, yeah, you're going to unload uh, this here. Okay, that's, a, that's our uh, con match. So this is... Ooh. Um, <clears throat> Stroud. Uh, what is it? Uh, it is... It is it's, not, it's not delivery. It's Stroud con mat delivery. That's nice. Stroud rock con mat supply. Yeah, that's good. Let's make this a capital S because why not? Um, so that's this run. And I'm saying that because it's going to actually take Conmats back from here. So let's make sure that it can pick up Conmats from here. And it will drop off Conmats uh, on this side. And then I think I didn't do this right. Yes, you unload rocks here. There you go. You don't have to wait until full. That's fine. All right. That's our first set of trucks. And sadly, I cannot use a, a dump truck for this. I do have to use a, a can load everything truck. But that's why trucks are nice. They usually don't... Well... They exist without big restrictions for what you want to do. How about we do the bigger one because it's actually going to be useful. I'm going to use just two for the time being, and we're going to add them to that line that we just uh, that we just did set up. There is an icon here where you can just see the lines that you can see versus the lines that are everywhere. Uh, sometimes you want one or the other. We're going to set that one up right here. <clears throat> With that one in mind, we can talk to the existing delivery. Uh, that no longer has to go to West Bedlington because we now have a different line uh, to move the material. And here's the thing. Try not to cross your lines. Try not to have multiple lines uh, move stuff around because the game will not make the decisions that you want it to make. Make sure that you have full control over what you want uh, What you want to happen here. 
So we're just going to manage our line. Uh, West Bentlington Halt, which is out here, we're just going to remove that. No longer needed. Uh, we do want to load until full, 100%. Uh, and then we do want to load our uh, con mats and uh, unload them here. Great. They're doing what they're supposed to do, which is excellent. So this is a delivery point. I'm actually, um, we're gonna we're gonna move trucks around, aren't I? Yes. I'm thinking that this will be the last um, last ditch delivery route. So we're gonna start delivering more stuff here for Stroud from our little hub that we have in uh, by the machine factory. I think that will be nice. Okay, so we have this one set up. Our rate is way too high now, obviously. So we're gonna tell this guy. Uh, to make a new route, to make a new line. Okay, what's that new line? Set line, new line. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, you're going to go over here, and we're going to have to add another uh, platform there. And from there, I would like you to drop off the con mats that you have available out here. <clears throat> Very important. Um, so this is going to be Strout. On mat. Ooh. Actually, I don't like that. Why do I not like that? Um, because uh, we don't have, we, currently we don't have any reason to bring the conmats that will be stored here uh, to West Bedlington and then all the way to West Bedlington City. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is actually add the um, the drop-off zone here where the conmats need it. They are, looks like just a couple buildings over here, which is nice. Um, our buses are going that way, so I think it will be safe to put our conmats drop-off right here. Then talk to this line. Uh, manage line. Yes, thank you. At station, we don't need this one. We need uh, this one instead. Very good. That's actually taken a route that I appreciated taking. So yeah, you, you're coming out that way and life should be good. Here, make sure that you wait until full uh, forever. And all I want you to load is uh, con mats and then you can unload whatever you want at the next one. So this is West Bellington um, con mat. Delivery. Perfect. That's a first delivery setup to West Bellington. Actually spell it right. <laughs> that's that's impressive for me, trust me. Okay, so this one should be fine. It should be able to get comments because this guy is supposed to bring comments back whenever it drops off some rocks. So that's helpful. <clears throat> Let's configure stuff. We need another cargo platform over here that can store a little bit of the materials that we have going through. And then we have to change our terminals over here to not have both on the same place. Instead, uh, the delivery, uh, for right now, one truck may be fine, uh, that goes out to Bellington. We'll just park on one side and, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Uh, roads. This road is crappy. <laughs> let's, let's get a new one. Uh, we do need the, the speed limit to be at least um, the speed limit that we want. So you can go through here and then everything past here is city again. We don't have to do, uh, worry about that too much. Very good. West Bedlington, what is your current rate? 25 is what you want. Let's run this a little faster so we can make some money, maybe even pay, repay a little bit while we're planning. Uh, okay, you want 25, and that will increase relatively fast. Um, and it's actually moving 25. That's wonderful. I saw something earlier which I didn't like. Trucks are actually parking here for a relatively long period of time. That is not good. That tells me that our line... This number that we see here, that number is more related to what this guy produces because these guys are told to wait until loaded. So we're going to send this one to the depot because ideally, I never want a truck to wait here. I just want them to show up and then leave. And that's it. I don't want them to do the stuff in between. Uh, otherwise, we probably run into issues with several different things. Um, and that would be bad. You are willing to accept up to 300 units of stuff now, which is very nice. Um, yeah, we just have to wait. There's a truck coming in. How much is stored here? 12. Yeah, it's, it's only 12. It's not 25. There's a little more production going on here, uh, but just not quite enough yet. We just have to make sure that at most there's one truck waiting here. Uh, not more than that. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. But also, this is now accepting 300 units instead of just um, the lower amount. So we have to respect that. Ooh, money came in. Uh, 3 million is nice to have. Uh, there's a little bit more. Ooh, Hornsey Fuel Refinery. Is it close by? No, it's it's very far away. Very, very far away. That's not going to help us at all. All right, cool. Let's see what we can do here. Um, if we want to increase to 300 units, why do we have iron but no coal? Are we are we out of coal? No, coal is sitting here. 
The train that comes in, do you have coal loaded? You are half and half, just the way you're supposed to. So that's good. We could add one extra hopper to this thing, but it's already moving the right amount of materials. So that's not the problem. But for some reason, it's deciding that it's going to move less coal than I want you to do. All right, that's that's not ideal. Let's check manage the line. We told it 50%. It just doesn't seem to care. It just doesn't seem to care. It's just moving whatever it wants to move. That's unfortunate. Um, but not much I can do about that right now because I can't really force it to do um, anything else. Yeah, because it's just it's just the line. It's just the way that it wants to do things. I would like it to move more coal. Oh, the other problem is... Let's go check him. Uh, the other problem is it's not actually running full. Are you? No. It has it has empty spots, which means this is not running at full efficiency. So I don't like doing this because I was hoping the line would take care of that for me. And maybe someone has a good suggestion for this. But for right now, we're just going to set both of these to 100% and you can load and unload whatever you want. Uh, why do I do that? Because it is not good to not do the actual 50% that I want. It is even worse to have empty hoppers running around because there's no reason this train should always run full ideally it takes both but practically if it's not able to do that um then well we have to solve it a different way let's check this one your rate is good trucks over here are just waiting one at a time that is nice how we're we doing over here now only one truck is waiting and our uh, production movement is fine and we're running out of steel. Yeah, the steel production is lacking a little bit because of what we just discovered with the coal and iron. You are upgraded to the 400 level though, so we could upgrade this to move, uh, to bring in more coal and more iron. Is that what we want? It's a relatively long trip. Um, there is the coal right here. There's some more coal there. Wasn't there some iron around here too that already disappear? There's iron there, there's more coal here. We just really need two, two coal and two iron uh, to make this one run 100%. We could go the short route where we just bring iron and coal to uh, this steel mill and then this steel mill can bring uh, all the steel down to the machines factory with trucks, which is a little more effective and efficient. Um, but I don't, I don't like to use fake coal trains or fake coal routes like that. What I would like to do is put another coal station right here. How much money do we have? We do have 50 million and we will make a little bit more. So uh, let's repay this while we can. Um, yeah, what I would like to do is set up a truck route, another one like we have, and then put a train, a train station right out here. We only need one of the coal mines. We could even put a train route here, which could be more in line with the stuff that we have to build here later because there's going to be a station right there um, at some point in the very near future. Yes, I like that. Let's get let's get started. Um, track. Yes, you can't you can't purchase anything right now, buddy. Okay, uh, borrow a little bit of money that hopefully doesn't run out right away. And I need a relatively straight piece of track right here that later on we can replace with a. Um, that's actually good. That we can replace with a station. That's important. Okay. That can go there, uh, and we can add the, um, well, parallel tracks or whatever we want there uh, later on. This one is very much a terminal station, so that's fine. All it needs is a single track, 240 meters. This one may actually be 320 because we need a bigger um, capacity or more trains. So we're actually going to do this really long, uh, which means we also have to increase the, the length of the existing um, terminal station that we have, but that is fine. Half a million for this. You should have at least looked at where the track is. It's not perfect. <clears throat> no, it's not. Not at all. Um, refund this, like 50% or whatever it is. Uh, and get me a piece of track that runs all the way out here. That should be fine. And then place the building. There you go. 400,000. Um, that is fine. And then give us a little bit of crappy road. Um, not upgrade, just the straight line. Do we get a? We don't get a tentacle there. We do get tentacles here for 50,000, 30,000. That's not bad. And then we just have to connect this one uh, through the mountain. And now your coal mine. Very good. So this one's connected. This one will be a, uh, a station at some point for passengers and for everything else. But we can't go to Colchester until we're halfway done with Bedlington. And Bedlington still needs food. 
And currently we're just caring more about the money and we want to move um, extra um, extra coal, uh, well, extra steel. I'm looking around and seeing if it's worth it to have the quarry take stone back on the way out, but our conmats, uh, another conmat facility is all the way over there, which is not, uh, which wouldn't be a good, it would be very gamey to do that. We can totally bring um, rocks here and then another train going out to the conmats. Um, all that would do is would allow us to not run this empty. Ooh, however, <clears throat> wait, however, however what? I was going to say we could connect to the Colchester farm and get some grain down here to Colchester. Um, but this, this train is already full, so we just have to bring something down here that would uh, go in a hopper. And the only thing we have is this quarry. And that quarry really realistically is not... Uh, it's not it's not a good investment maybe at some point we can get a farm connected somewhere and bring it to um the, the iron and the coal hopper but again that's not very realistic um because you probably don't want the taste of coal on your um on your cereal right there you go didn't think so um let's run this one four hundred thousand sure it's relatively flat i think yeah that's that's the right one i was just pressing m and n to see if there is something we needed to do uh, and then we have to figure out over here what's our side of the track that we care about the side of the track that we care about will be on the outside okay so we can double track this you do have a catenary i don't think we're gonna run with one right here and we should probably upgrade the other stuff too and then you can come in here we may not even have to double track a lot at this stage where is where is my track there's my track you can actually get here there's a bridge we don't want a bridge. I much rather have this thing uh, functional, but it doesn't like what we're doing right now. So sorry, Road, you cannot be right there right now. Let's try this again <clears throat> without a bridge, though. Please and thank you. Uh, Six hundred thousand. We do have that money. We have ten million in the bank. That's nice. Uh, yeah, the the bridge really just um, imposes a speed limit that we don't really care for. So that's why we're changing this. Uh, make this one not catenary. At some point, I will remember that right away, and we don't have to do this after the fact. But I didn't remember just now. So, Strout, you want some uh, goods. We don't have goods, and you want fuel. We don't have fuel. But it's actually upgrading to all the demands at this point, which is cool. Uh, that quarry, I don't think we have to worry about either. So we are right here now. Good. Um, there's currently no no train running this track, so we're just going to remove that piece of um, rail right there. Get a little bit more track in here, because now we can run a single long train that can make it all the way to the steel mill here. Um, this one, the only thing it's complaining about that it's uh, trying to connect to two... Um, what's it called platforms but those platforms don't actually exist so that's relatively easy as a fix and then this one we're, we're gonna see how how long our our um our train is gonna be so that's the first connection we still have a little bit of money i think we can actually do this and then move on the next thing that i need is real road or fast road as some people may call it um and you need to connect stations overloaded oh no yeah we'll, we'll get to that later um, optimization, we're kind of doing a little bit of optimization right now, but there's a lot more optimization needed uh, relatively soon. <clears throat> okay, 1.6 million for a very straight shot. Could this be a train? <sighs> oh, he's speaking my language there. The pro uh, we don't need to move that much. It is clearly a longer distance than this. It is actually a very long distance. Should that be a separate train or should that just be one? Um... Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate making this a train station. Okay. Uh, well, train station. I don't hate making this a train situation. Let's do this. We don't need a train that is as long. Um, let's talk to our normal track builder. Obviously, this episode is a little longer. I hope you're okay with that. Um, and point it right here. Where are we going to put our station? To be fair, there's a high chance that something's going to go up the middle here. Could also go up the middle here. Probably Colchester is a more appropriate place to move up the middle. Um, so we're actually going to place our the next terminal station right here. All right. 
Uh, we don't need to be that long. 240 should be more than sufficient. Um, I wouldn't mind putting you right here. As you can see right now, there's no um, catchment of that uh, of anything, but that is fine. We can fix that with a quick road connection. Um, honestly, we may have to run like this. I would like to not delete too much stuff. It just makes me feel better. Um, there's no technical reason for that. But that should be good. Then give me a little bit of road connection right here, which should give us the catchment uh, for that iron mine right there. Very good. Now, tracks uh, without catenary. Very important. Um, let's go through here. Try not to delete any fields if you can avoid it. I don't mind that crossing. This crossing is acceptable-ish. So we're going to keep that. I'm going to take that back a little bit because it, it, it's flat enough. I... I I think it looks good enough. Now we're gonna see how this one is colliding with something. You're actually really close. You're really close to what I want you to be. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Give me a little bit of straight rail right here that crosses the road where we're sitting there, that's fine. And then you can come out here. There is a small problem with what I'm doing. We are playing on very hard settings, um, which the easiest way to um, well, beat the game on very hard settings is to uh, run full or more than full more than 50% of, uh, of the time, which we won't do with both of these trains. This train is just going to go back and forth. Um, it's always going to be 50% empty. This train, same thing. Just can't do anything about that right now. And hopefully the, the, the actual capacity of the trains is going to make up for that. But it's that's not a given. So let's set these up. The first one is going to be a very simple train, and honestly, we can probably use this as our transport, um, like in between transport, manage vehicle, yes. Do this one. We actually don't want these. Can I can I store these? I never, I haven't done this before. Let's see what happens. And then I'm gonna give you some gondolas. We're gonna go with this one, like 150 capacity mediocre. That is fine, you upgrade it now. Yes, there's a train that has nothing on it, that's perfect. Um, let's do a new line. This is going to be uh, effectively from here to there. I think the game is smart enough to get to this station. Okay, uh, sorry, to, to get to this station first and then go to the other station. Are you going to the correct line? Yes, you are, you're actually leaving, so that's good. Uh, Colchester Transfer, that's a good name. Uh, and Colchester West, you're going to get iron. Just make sure that you actually load until full, as usual, and then uh, you should be fine. That's iron. Uh, orange, actually, the color is great. So this is the hopper. Hold on. This is the Colchester. Uh, <clears throat> iron. Oh, <laughs> it did the thing and then it took me out. Uh, this is the Colchester Iron iron hopper supply good enough are we paused i don't want to be paused keep going uh, okay so that's the first one and then the other one is going to be excuse me autosave gosh so much stuff going on don't like it uh the other one is going to be another diesel train and this one it would be nice to go faster but understand how fast your wagons can actually move you can move 120 that is the max speed we're going to get out of this and if we can get something close to 300 meters, I think we're going to get a capacity that we care about. So 120 is our goal. You're 140. This one is 120. But it's probably not powerful enough to actually move what we want it to move. So it's possible that we need a double header GP9. Um, no, actually, that one is less strong than this guy. No, how, how do you look? You're mediocre. You cost 28. Um, it may still work. It may still work for right now, but we may still have to uh, double header that guy. So let's borrow enough money to pay for that train. I w I'm very happy that we had the first train already in the um, in the house uh, to make this work. So there you go, 28 million. That's fine. It is mediocre. We, we can upgrade at any point. There are a couple trains here that may be useful. Um, oh, this one. Ooh, I kind of like that guy. Just because it has a lot more power. It's a little slower, but it gets up to speed a lot faster. So let's do this. Uh, talk to this train. Um, upgrade it. Did I replace that thing earlier and not upgrade it? That's stupid. Um, let's do that one. Nice American. <clears throat> a little slower, but that's fine. Uh, you will cost me $5 million. That's just uh, a mistake that I made. That will just happen. 
modify for a little bit of money. There you go. Now, the new line is going to be, um, are we paused? We are kind of paused. Don't need to be paused anymore. We need to make money. Uh, from there to here, we need this one to be extended to 300 meters, but that will be very easy. Culture to transfer. I would like you to pick up um, all everything. Everything, whatever is here. It doesn't have to be 50-50 and all that stuff. And then you just unload it at Strout. This is going to be um, Hopper 2. Hopper 2. Uh, because Hopper 1 is going down here. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's call this one, instead of Colchbury or whatever it is, this is Hopper 2 Iron Supply. Hopper 2 um, Iron Supply. Now it makes sense and you can actually tell what it is. Cool. Uh, the color is fine. The train should be fine. We're going to watch them uh, move around. Don't worry. We have the first coal being um, set up right here. We probably want, because this is a large uh, setup, we will need some extra cargo buildings, which we can't build anywhere right here. Uh, we need to add another platform first. You need money for that first. Okay, you're right. Spend a little more money. I'm pausing so that money doesn't run away. Um, and then build a couple platforms on the outside so we can add some cargo buildings. The cargo buildings are there to just increase our capacity. I would like to... Oh, this is fine. Uh, yep, yep, and yep. Now we should have a nice uh, large cargo capacity on that thing. We can pay a little bit of money back, but we are out of money now. So um, that, is, that is a thing that we have to consider. Uh, iron supply. Your rate is 275, which is not big enough. We want you to actually move all of this. So we, we do have a little bit of money in the bank. Um, actually, before we do that, we should check the other one, because if there's no matchup, um, then it's not really helpful. You, Hopper 2, you have a 280. Okay, you need to have a capacity of twice that for um, us to be able to move everything that we want to move, which we don't have right now, which also means this train is already relatively long. Look at that. It's kind of tipping out um we will have to make this a double train uh, that we have two running in there but that should be okay yes get a little bit of iron loaded from that train you're actually going back now that is helpful we haven't extended this we're going to pause it uh, for money and for uh the red um the red icon reasons there platform yes one two three four should be max close to max uh, and then we're just going to extend this so that train can actually fit here and unload you get a small penalty for being a little too long um nothing terrible it's just something that sometimes you want to consider straight enough good uh and go yeah let's watch the train um next time we will have to increase our capacity to bring to the uh, machines factory because it does accept 300 now with the rates that we have moving over here, we should be able to produce 300, but we don't have anywhere to take it to. I didn't get to the food, um, but we should be... Wow, one. <laughs> that's that's not what I expected. Um, how are we doing over here, city? Are you okay? Two. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Um, trucks. What are you guys doing? Terminals, you are squishing onto the same thing, which is not very helpful, and that truck can move. There we go. Now we're actually gonna, gonna get a couple things done because these guys have all the rocks stored, and everyone else is doing the rest. There's all the rocks here, and nothing's happening there. Glad I checked that because that could be really bad if that goes on for too long. Uh, trucks over here. What is... Wait. Transport. Our transport is still 100%, so our truck rate is probably close to 160, which is the same it was earlier with four trucks, 171 actually. So there's nothing to fix here. The other ones just have to bet in a little bit, but we are out of money now. Yeehaw. So we have to wait for a little while until that is all uh, figured out. And maybe next time we concentrate on a smaller project and get uh enough things done do we have issues here yes every time a train arrives we probably get too many workers parking there uh speaking of train you are making some money not a lot i don't expect it to make a lot with just two cities connected uh but it's making some money which is good once we have colchester on here that train will be making a lot more money and our cities will grow now uh, because the more you supply the more connections you have the bigger your city will grow we're already growing at 80 percent here we barely 
supply anything. Uh, this guy is at 150%, which is nice. A little bit of traffic, but that's okay. Yeah, machines are happening. <clears throat> the uh, the conmats are happening. What is our rate right now with you? If you actually run 52, that's still fine. Okay, this looks good. And traffic is not too bad yet, but we're only in 1980. Um, that can only get worse. You're effectively not pr transporting a lot, but that's fine. At least this guy's making money. Uh, we can appreciate that. Over here, we have a lot of coal and iron sitting there. So yeah, it will be pretty easy to increase... Um, to add another train to this guy and uh, make us a lot of money. Cool. We did it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we will be back next time. Well, um, let's slow it down a little bit, Tiger. Double speed should be good enough. Um, and we will see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.